Riley School. Well, when I was 15 years old, I went through the hit a windshield of a car because the babysitter's boyfriend was taking me home and we went in a ditch and, and I hurt my neck pretty bad. You know what it showed up? In my 30s. All of a sudden I was like, oh. And he goes, well, did you ever have an injury when you were younger? When I was at my heaviest, they were talking about surgery, breast reduction surgery, because I had so much weight on my neck, and I just didn't want to do it. And I thought, maybe if I lose some weight, I can reduce that pressure on my neck. For every 10 pounds overweight, let's just talk about our knees, that 60 pounds of pressure, let's go high then, because it's easier for my back. And let's say you're 100 pounds overweight. That means you're putting six Six thousand or six hundred? Six hundred. I was tested. Six hundred pounds of pressure on each knee every time you walk. Six hundred pounds of pressure. There are people who have told me that they've lost weight. I couldn't even kneel on the kneeler in church. I was doing the fanny set. Now, if you see me in church, I'm sitting right up there, kneeling right up there because I'm thinking, I can do it now. I don't have to do the fanny set. And then my son, who doesn't need to do the fanny sit, he'll see me go, get up there, get up there. I'm always tucking him up there. He doesn't need to do the fanny sit, he's 14. The thing is, when your knees have all that weight on you, and then you think, well, how can, people have said to me, I can't exercise, Ellen. I have bad knees. They're going to talk about that right now. Because overweight women have four times the risk of osteoarthritis in their knees. Men, five times risk. You lose weight, you take that risk. I mean, it's never going to be perfect. You might still have some cartilage problems, but you can get better. It talks about your BMI. My BMI is still in the overweight. I'm happy. I'm happy to be <coughs> this overweight. I was morbidly obese. I'll take a BMI of 28 versus one of 58, but you really should know it. I bet you I could go around this room and very few people would know their BMI. You can go right to this website that I have in this article and type in your height and your weight and you'll have it in one second. It's good to know where you are. Also, there's people who have a much larger weight. That's not good for arthritis either or other obesity-related diseases. It talks about moderate physical activity. I gotta say how grateful I am to the people who showed up for the Earth Day. We had more fun, it was cold, it was rainy, People brought their kids. And you know, those of us that were, were there weren't the ones in the best shape, but we were doing it. We were out there, we were walking, we were trying to do some exercise. That's important. If you're gonna wait to be at your goal weight before you have confidence to exercise, you're never gonna exercise. So this talks about just committing to doing something. Committing to getting in better shape, and I'm not even going to ask people to raise their hands because there's a lot of artificial hips and knees in here. And even if you've already had that surgery, it can help to lose some of the weight. How exercise helps this osteoarthritis. It reduces the joint pain. Did anyone ever wake up in the morning and say, I can't even get out of bed. I can barely move my legs, my back. <coughs> then you get moving, you get going, and all of a sudden you start loosening up a little bit, you feel a little bit better. That's what you need to do. Now, I'm not saying, oh, I have osteoarthritis, I'm going to go do a 26-mile run or a marathon, but just do a little bit more every day, a little walk, a little chair exercise. You can't use it as an excuse not to do anything. Also, you can still build muscle. You can sit there in your chair and lift your legs up. You can build muscle. You can lift weights with your arms. And you know, I say these things and then I'm wondering, is anyone listening? Is anyone hearing? Because let me tell you why. We can lose weight. We can keep it off. We did good last week. We're back in the good column. I have confidence in this group. I have confidence that we want to do it. And there's those of us who have bad metabolism, and we're going to talk about this next. But don't use arthritis as an excuse. Now, here's where, where it affects you, in your head. Rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, psoriatic arthritis, you just don't feel like it. It brings you down. It brings you down. You go, I just don't feel like exercising. I just don't feel like watching what we eat. That's when we need God. 
That's when we need God to say, God, help me to feel like this. Help me to feel like it. I say read the blog. Read the stories of the people who are doing it. Their lives aren't a bowl of cherries. They didn't say, well, when everything's perfect, I'll try to lose some weight. Mm -hmm. They're saying, I might as well do it now. Okay. That's good, Bob.